welcome to another Tonalist Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and I'm bringing you a, uh, a little original painting I did back in uh, March. It's called The Gloaming. It's a 6x8, and, mm, pardon me, it's a scene I have painted before, way back in like, hmm, 2013. Which is getting to be five years ago and isn't aging incredible <laughs> anyway uh i'm real happy with the way this little painting turned out uh i was real happy uh, in fact i have to say that the other um, version of this scene that i did back in 2013 uh, really stood out for that uh, time as one of my best paintings and still has a very fresh quality that um, i found quite difficult to uh um, pull off again uh, because I, it was just one of these um, times I was really on and um, all the strokes were quick and immediate I believe I did it into um, in a drawing pass and a color pass with no um, additional uh, work uh, which is always good if you can do it because uh, it keeps a certain fresh quality every time you put a painting up on the easel um, you definitely run the risk of losing the uh, fresh immediate quality of the work that came before as you apply uh, more and more brush strokes to your painting but you probably know that already if you're a painter and if you uh, um, are not a painter well you just learned something about painting <laughs> Anyway, today is uh, it's Friday out here in New Zealand, and yes, uh, another week where I have been um, sort of lagging, and it seems like I've kind of almost uh, been getting like one or maybe only two videos out uh, a week, but that's okay, um, because I have uh, finished... I'm going to be laying something on you that I think you're really going to like. Maybe you won't, but uh, it's going to be a, um, and I've talked about this in some previous videos, but for those of you that didn't catch those, uh, it'll be um, a live real-time demo of um, me doing uh, Autumn in Montclair by George and Ness, which is um, one of my favorite all-time landscape paintings, and uh, this painting came out looking really good. Not exactly like his, but I, I don't know if, I, if I've seen anyone. Uh, I have seen people make a lot of studies of this painting, actually. Um, but I haven't seen any that, uh, that got the NS quite as close as I have, if I don't say so myself, of course. Um, humility being uh, one of my strong suits as a <laughs> landscape painter. Trust me, I actually am humble. I'm, I'm so aware of all the uh, the greatness that came before and even the great painters out there working now, you know. But uh, if you do something right, you do something well. I think you should be able to recognize that and communicate about it. And, uh, and I did in this painting. It looks really good. And um, so I am going to be doing... Uh, the video has been in the can for a couple days now, but the um, I need the uh, actual painting itself to be dry, and um, it just dried uh, was dry this morning. Um, and I will be trying to get in some photography tonight on that. Um, not sure exactly when I'll be rolling it out, but it'll be in the near future. I can I can guarantee you that. And um, I actually don't have a real sense for how long all of the video is. Um, it could be six or seven hours worth of video. So uh, in a case like that, I'll probably chop it up into two-hour chunks or something. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, uh, like I say, I haven't been able to look, even look at any of that because I always want to have the final, um, a good photo of the final painting composited. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed that, but there always is in every video I do a good example of what the actual painting looks like taken with a good camera under excellent lighting conditions. Sometimes the videos themselves can be a little bit Mm, you know, iffy, the lighting can change or modulate or what have you, but uh, uh, I always make sure I've got a really good quality photo of every painting. Even if I didn't manage to get video, you know, I had one like that uh, 
um, that uh, in fact I just finished processing all this stuff for March. You can tell I've been a bit behind because we're uh, well past halfway through May now. But um, uh, a really nice painting I did with a student. I have zero video for that, of course, since uh, I didn't. You know, well, the student did a copy of the scene and I did a copy of it, and uh, it looks real nice. It's a nice painting. I have a good photo of it, but no video. So there you go. Um, I am home for lunch. I'm in the studio today. I'm doing actually, believe it or not, some more board prep. Um, I had an, a few that I was going to do for the um, the next uh, past master series where I'd had a texture on one side of the board, but it was too fine, too wimpy. Um, and so me being uh, the cheap uh, person that I am, I thought, well, I'll just to the other side but that was a bad plan because uh, everything's sticking together in my in my box and I tend to store all my paintings front to back and um, I, I rely on there being nothing sticky on the uh, back side and that is not the case so I've had to go in and redo about five or six boards and I'll just throw away the other ones and uh, chalk it up to experience but uh, so I'm doing a bit of that this morning but this uh, also uh, I've recently composited some very exciting um, scenes that I can't wait to get in and paint and so I'm gonna be doing like hmm, four or five a uh, little five by tens I got into the five by ten dimension uh, by doing a study after uh, Jules Dupree who was a Barbizon painter really really good one um, and you'll be seeing some of his uh, well, you'll be some of my you be seeing some of my renditions of his work in the next uh, uh, past masters series. Um, I've been a fan of his for at least a year or two since I found out about him. He's not that well known, but really an extraordinary painter, and uh, he really favored this um, long um, panoramic sort of proportion, uh, which I've always avoided, but. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get into it now. Actually, uh, it's it's interesting how something like a change in proportion can really be so stimulating and um, and exciting. And it is. I've got some. Actually, I've had some references uh, photos that um, I hadn't for around for years that I hadn't really been able to to turn into uh, good motifs for painting, but uh, um, given these proportions, I was inspired to definitely make some of those work that um, I hadn't really been able to, to feature before, so that's cool too. And um, anyway, I'm going to be uh, rolling those out, probably, probably getting into those uh, maybe today. Mm -hmm. I've got the reference. Uh, oh, what I don't have is the boards. <laughs> uh, but I'm also got some more. Um, so all of those bad boards that I'd set up for the uh, the past masters uh, series, the next one, uh, were seven by ten. So I've got a bunch of those and uh, got them all texturized. I uh, just need to do my oil paint application and. Uh, I tend to like to let that acrylic, I know they're probably dry to the touch when I get back in the studio, but I probably will wait till tomorrow to lay on the oil paint, and then it can take many days uh, for that to dry. So that depends on, I don't know, the weather, the humidity, um, a bunch of other factors. Anyway, uh, so that's what's going on uh, in the studio and uh, here at the house. Uh, well, like I said, I've been working on setting things up and doing a bunch of archiving and and things like that. So uh, we're rolling in. Uh, this is May, going into winter uh, pretty soon. Actually, quite cold at the uh, Quarry Art Center where I work today. It's kind of like in this little sheltered area and. Uh, you get a pretty good temperature drop there in the fall and winter. I had my little knit cap on today, so those of you uh, enjoying warm weather uh, there in the States, um, enjoy it. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, I can see we're getting close to the end here. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, you new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it, and I will keep this content coming, and uh, old subscribers, 
you know I'm going to keep the content coming because I always have, right? And uh, I, my intention is to keep the channel going. You know, it may, it may get down to one or two videos a week, but uh, I will consistently get something out every week. Anyway, I'll be back real soon with another video. So, meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.